Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and good morning by the way. Well for me anyways, it's morning. Uh, I woke up early today. I could not go to sleep. Um, I woke up like at five something. Um, needing to use the restroom of course being pregnant and um, I went in there and then I just couldn't like I wasn't tired. I guess I was I had too much on my brain that I couldn't I wasn't even sleepy after waking up So I started thinking about everything I had to do today because today is picture day um, If you haven't seen my last video, I did um, doing a maternity picture session today. So I need to get a lot of stuff done first Like I already took a shower right after I decided I wasn't going back to sleep. I took a quick shower I didn't wash my hair so it could um um, I could get it done faster, but I got a little bit wet in the back, you know, but I'm letting that air dry while I get my, uh, other stuff done. So yeah, so today I'm working on getting my nails done. I haven't done my nails in a good while and I really wanted them done for the pictures. So I, the other day I ordered a kit from Amazon. It's the Beatles gel polish. Well, it's the, it's a poly gel nail extension gel kit and it looks like that um and this one is i saw it not this exact one i saw someone else review it but when i was trying to buy the other kit this one popped up and it was on sale they had like a ten dollar coupon for it because i guess it's like a newer product so they're trying to get it out there so and it's fall theme which is even better so i went ahead and got this one so i really wanted to give it a try today hopefully i'll get it i'll get a decent set of nails um, for the pictures but yeah if you want to see how it turns out just keep on watching and this kit i love because well i don't know i but i really like because it has pretty much everything you need to complete these your um your set of nails so it comes with the lamp three colors of poly gel the uh we'll see let me just take everything out but it shows you like the pamphlet of everything that comes in there and then the nail lamp manual um the poly gel application guide and i guess your whole like pictures and everything of the steps to do the nails and then in this first bag, it has all the like the little glitters and it's really cute since it's fall themed. It came with like the little fall leaves and the orange gold colors of glitters. It's so cute. I'm excited to do fall nails. Today I'm not going to go for like a fall look because my theme for my baby shower and everything is pink so i'm not gonna do fall i might do some gold it came with the gold and silver flakes so i might do some gold in there maybe I'm not sure and then it has the striping tape in gold reds silver um and then the what are these called um i keep forgetting what they're called nail forms It has some tweezers. A file. Um, this one's a 100 and 180 file. The, um, what is this? Appli applicator? Wax. Um, it's like a wax pencil, I think, for... For... What is it for? I think for the... Oh, for placing like um, the glitters and stuff, I think you use this. I think it kind of melted and that's probably my fault. <laughs> but hopefully it still works good. But yeah, it's um, a wax pencil. I think it's for putting the glitters on or something like that. And then of course, I think this is the spatula thing. Yeah, this is the brush. Um... So it has the, um, whoa, this is a hard brush. <laughs> so it has the brush on one side and then the spatula on the other for the poly gel. And then 
it has some leaves like some actual stickers on there and even more like gold diamond uh, what is it like beads and stuff um what do they call it rhinestones gold rhinestones <laughs> okay and now in the box this box it has the top gel <clears throat> matte top gel which is really cool because I've never had a kit with the matte gel um, top gel and then the base gel and the other one it has the polygel nail liquid oh slip solution and uh, nail strengthener and then of course the dual forms I think this one showed that it came with two different types so it has all the sizes on there um, I thought on the other kit I saw reviewed it had like straight and curve yeah so okay so on this it has the two sets of two sizes they're more like straighter I don't know if you can see um, they're more like straight tips and then it also has some that are more curved like tips so for whatever is your preference it came with both and then of course it has the three um, poly gel tubes um, it has the number one which is clear a number five in bean red and the number six in skin tone I think I'm between the the mm, bean red and skin tone I gotta see what they look like but I'm between those I mean I'll probably use all three but. and then of course the nail lamp and which when I looked it up this is actually a good nail lamp because um, it's like a 48 watt and they recommend using at least 48 or, or 36 watt and higher for poly gel and which this was 48 so that's even better and I have a nail lamp but my sister is into nails and stuff and she has it and hasn't given it back in forever so I'm just gonna let her keep that one and then I have another one now and I do have a little mini one that came with another poly gel kit that I bought my first one a while back but that one is a little bitty one and it's only like an 18 or 20 watt I believe so I wanted a better one and I know I'm I'm in the robe because I wanted to feel cozy. It's actually kind of cool outside this morning, so um, I wanted to feel really nice and cozy. And now I'm gonna get started, but I'm gonna pull up my hair to get it out the way. And yeah, my face so weird without makeup, but I'm doing my makeup after I get my hair done and then the makeup. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to do as much talk through as I can before my AC turns on and won't doesn't let me do it. But for now, um, I'm going to talk through it and afterwards I'll just do a voiceover whenever necessary if the AC turns on. So, Alright, so I'm going to start by filing down my nails, which have grown out a while, like a pretty good size. Because I haven't done them, my nails, and I haven't gotten them done in a while. So they're just been, they've just been growing out and being pregnant, they've been growing out even faster. But I'm just gonna start by filing them real quick. So I decided not to really file them down because I mean, there's no point in it. I'm just gonna um, put the like tip on top so it doesn't matter if I file them down or not really, I think in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start by filing my nail bed a little bit with the um this one that they provided so i'm gonna use the 100 side which i don't know the difference <laughs> but i'm just gonna use one side and um lightly um say or what is it? file down my nail just enough just a little bit enough to like for the poly gel to adhere better and i don't have I just realized i don't have this one didn't come with a cuticle pusher but it's I have one I just um, I don't want I don't feel like going to get it so I'm just gonna use like 
Oh, the little spatula that I came with. I'll probably use that as the little like nail pusher. Alright, so in the process I realized that I was going to need my file, my e-file. So I just got up, even though I was being lazy, I was trying not to get up. But <laughs> I had to for my file. So I just went ahead and got a cuticle pusher from my kit. Um, which, it's not even a cuticle, well it's the, the little toothpick pusher thing. So I'm just going to use that to push back my cuticles. And then I'm going to go in with a bit on the e-file and kind of clean up around the cuticle area even more but this is just to push them back real quick I might I was thinking I might just do a voiceover because um, I feel like I do everything faster when I'm not talking as much for whatever reason and um, or trying to explain myself better and so I'm just gonna try and do this and then do the voiceover on top of it because I have a lot to do and I'm right now I'm taking advantage of this time because my son and my husband are still asleep so I'm trying to do as much as I can before they wake up because I feel like I just slowed down well yeah trying to take care of my son and then my husband too um so I'm just gonna do a voiceover like I said and I'll be back at the end of the video Alright, so here I just took the cuticle bit and started doing the cuticles um, with that because it's way better to use that than just the pick itself. And then I switched over to a brush bit and just kind of cleaned up around the nails to get all the excess powder that was left on there. And then I tried to get all the little like um, skin that was lifted skin or something with them little clippers. And I feel like I kind of hurt myself in some, but I guess they weren't as sharp as they need to be, but it still gets the job done, even if I cut myself a little, but it, it works. All right, so I finished my nails, prepping my nails for the most part. They're not perfect, but it's gonna have to work because I need to hurry up. So I found a little dish and I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the slip solution in there. I did go ahead and already pick out my nail forms, so I have them all by size over here. Um, so I'm probably going to start doing the voiceover now because my dogs are in and they're doing a lot of noise. So <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I think, let me show you the colors real quick. And here's a little swatch of all of them. So that one's the bean red, skin tone, and clear. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick just yet. I think I'm gonna go with the bean red because it's a little like pinkish color. They're actually pretty close in color, the bean red and the skin tone, but I'm gonna go ahead with the bean red. I'll probably end up using clear too for some stuff, but for the most part, I'm gonna use the bean red. So to start off, you're gonna get your spatula. I need to clean it off first. Okay, your spatula. Just kidding. I need to do a the 
base gel. So I need to do a layer of base gel first. So here I just started putting the poly gel itself on the nail form and um, it's kind of hard to tell how much you'll need at first but so it's just kind of trial and error so you just add little by little until you get the thickness you want um, and start shaping it so it's better to shape it to where it's thinner going towards the cuticle and then more thicker out so that way it'll prevent lifting at the cuticle area and um but still like it's your choice and then once you put it on it'll um you'll see that um excess if you got too much on there and it'll squeeze out but you can just clean that up and then put it back like on the tip you want to add maybe a little bit of length to it but yeah it's just the hardest part is just getting the shape right and um or like the precise amount to where it's not too much or not too little because then they're like they might break too easy if it's too little and after you got the shape that you want um you put it in for i do it for 60 seconds on the nail lamp and then you wiggle the nail form out and it should be ready to go well then you can just file off if like the shape the top the tip might have been a little bit weird uh, you just file it or the edges too as well but i usually try to do that at the end all right so i finished the all the application i'm just gonna file them down now with the file it came with and since poly gel is softer you don't have to like do a whole lot of filing Oh, and then on the ring finger, what I did was just mix clear poly gel with the glitter, one of the glitters it came with. I mixed it in and then put it in there. And I actually put it the clear one and then I started mixing it in, in inside the dual form. And created that. <laughs> Alright, so I shaped them. They're pretty and already like good. I'm just gonna file them like on the cuticles on some maybe cuticle area on some i might fall down a little i don't know they're pretty good to me actually so i think i might just oh actually no i'm gonna file underneath because on this one i forgot to shape it and it's really bulky underneath and i hate when that happens so i'm gonna file them down a little bit underneath Alright, so that's how it turned out. I might, um, I still have to add the top coat. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of time to record on this on this um, card. So I'm trying to do just the one hand and then show you at the end both hands maybe. Or at least the one hand. Yeah, I'll just do the one hand. I'm debating if I want to add uh, the gold stones. Because this one doesn't really match. Oh, I think I'll just add some gold flakes and then i'll show you that but first i'm gonna go ahead and buff them it's gonna lose the shine they're pretty shine but um it'll get get it back whenever um whenever i put the top coat on so i'm gonna go ahead and buff them out Alright, so I have about seven minutes left of camera time, like recording. So um, I went ahead and buffed my nails and I washed them with soap and water to clean them off. 
Now I'm going to go in with my uh, top coat. Top it off, top gel. I, I don't know if I want any mattes. I might do the middle one matte just to see how it looks. So I'm going to go in with the regular one. And then I'm going to add some gold flakes on my index finger. See how it looks. I've never used gold flakes before, so I honestly don't know how to use it. But I'm going to give it a try. just gonna cure that I'm gonna add top coat to the rest of them or the other one the ones that I'm not doing anything to and I'm gonna go in with the mat on the middle finger Let's see how it looks. So I've got all the coats on top, so I'm just gonna go ahead and carry it for 60 seconds. So that's how they came out at the end. It's kind of hard for it to my camera to focus right now. I can't. There you go. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil and it'll be pretty much done after that. Alright, so this is what the final nails look like. Um, I did keep this one matte. You can't, I get, I, with the cuticle oil you can't see how matte it is right now. But yeah, it's matte and it's like a really nice soft matte. Um, texture anyways and then the rest I did gloss um, like the regular um, shiny top coat you know so yeah I haven't done this other hand I'm gonna do it off camera because I need to do it as fast as I can um, I have it's eight o'clock now and I have to leave the house by 11 but I still have to do my hair makeup and then clothes pick out clothes for my son and get us all like um, organized and ready to go so I need to hurry up but yeah um, that's my set something nice and simple and it didn't take that long it just took me longer because I was trying to explain and do it on camera but it doesn't take that long so I started this like at seven so yeah it took an hour ish for one single hand but then again I took multiple breaks in between because being pregnant I'm 36 weeks today um, it hurts to be sitting down for a long time so I've did, been taking um, se several breaks so it doesn't take that long um, but yeah um, so that's the final look uh, if you want to see more nail tutorials maybe I'll do some more like uh, detailed nail stuff later on if you like it and just uh, give it a thumbs up and if you watch till the end uh, you aren't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe I try to upload at least once a week. I'm getting into that routine um, to upload once a week. And I have multiple videos of lifestyle, beauty, and now baby coming soon. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And my, my uh, giveaway is still open so you can still subscribe and leave a comment and you'll be entered to win. But yeah, just go, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be entered for that. And I will see y'all on my next video also i will leave the link down below for all the, the kit that i got today and if you want if you're interested in it i'll leave it down below so i will see y'all on my next video bye